And there you have the uh, fifth and sixth grade boys, LABC. And um, I'll give you the teams. In the, on the black team, coached by Miller. I believe that's Harry Miller, one of my former players. Uh, number zero is Tony Miller, and I take that back. Let me see. Might not be Harry, but anyway, uh, Cody Myers is number two. We're talking about the uh, black team. Caleb Sexton is number eight. Cody Tateman is number seven. Matt Schwab, number three. I'm watching see things by scores. Uh, number four is Zach Walker. Number five is Max Cook. And number six is Justin Long. That is your the team that's in the black. The team that's in the white with the ball right now. Number zero is J.J. Conwell. Look for him to do a lot of shooting. <laughs> Just like his dad. Number seven is Levi Johnson. Number eight is Aaron Mabe. Number two is DJ Graber. Number three is Jordan Hawkins. Number four is Ryan Crisp. Number five is Tyler Daly. Number six is Evan Durbin. And uh, number nine is Kyle Malone. And their coach, head coach, his last name is Wilson. good thing for the LABC for the boys in the lower grades. The main thing I stress is teach fundamentals, teach proper way of shooting as Conwell throws one up and doesn't hit anything. Um, be stern in your play. What I mean by that it's call the foul, the traveling, the foul, anything that's not right in the game, call it when they're young, show them what they did wrong, and you'll be surprised how quick they'll learn it, and they'll learn it right. But if they learn it wrong, then it's awful hard to change a bad habit. So this is the Sonics and the Spurs, and at halftime of the varsity, we'll have the Suns and the Lakers. Press pivot foot. And we got some subs in. Number zero and number four. Zero for a black team is Tony Miller. And number four, Ryan Chris for the uh, white team. It's number eight there. Who scored that, Carl? I didn't get Sexton, okay, he said it downstairs, so they'll hear it. You bet the white team's going after points now because they didn't have score on them. Doing a good job of keeping the game going. Man, look at Coach Tom Wilson. He got him a new white vest. He is decked out. That man gets sharper every time I see him. I'm sick of him. Conwell takes to the bucket hard. He's fouled. We don't have time to call fouls in this situation here. Conwell. That's my 
Number eight. On the black team. Sexton again. He ought to be scoring. He's the biggest one out there. A little lefty going up that time. Let's see who that was. Took that shot. <laughs> Number nine. Kyle Malone. They knew the time was running out. They made sure they got that last shot in. Stick around, folks. We got the second half of the reserve contest coming right at you. Give those kids a big hand. Of the reserve contest. Score right now. Lakewood 18, London 15. last night, 73 to 56. Yeah, I think in February Robinson was back to London, and that probably had a lot to do with the game because it went to a different concept. So a lot of things changed. Twenty fifteen now. I'm going to change numbers on me. He's got on number twenty now. been a little timid. Yeah, girls are playing up at Marysville in a tournament. part of uh, Orson Courthouse. 
They're 19 and 0 and 11 and 0. Piper's averaging 40 points a game in the last six or eight games. Score now is 24 to 17. I missed, I missed the foul. Must be getting a little rough. The Pablo goes up strong right in. Crossover. Knocks it in. 19-24. Had an ear takeaway. On the floor for London, we have uh, Honorman, Capalbo, Eads, Craner, and Bennett. Hey, Eads has got somebody he can almost match up with out there going against him, Carl. I to say that Pfeiffer wasn't much taller than that when he was a freshman. Pablo <laughs> inside with an assist from uh, Ungerman. Pablo scores, brings up to 24-21. He even moves like Eads. Watch him when he gets the ball. up his second foul. Nobody's in serious trouble. Ungerman's got two. That's a pretty play. He's still over the top. Shorter man can't get to it. Nearly had a turnover there. They could have gotten the passing lane. 26-21 with a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Uh, he went up and kicked his legs too. He's done a kick like Tony Simmons used to do. Tony Simmons used to go up and kick his legs. Man, he had, if he had a three-point shot when he was shooting, when he was playing, he probably had a big-time record. Getting busy, ain't they? I mentioned Tony Simmons. Tony Simmons was probably in the top five guard, best guards to come out of uh, London.
Another thing that really helped the knee plate as uh, Cranor misses his shot. Bennett with rebound. He gives up. Once a foul, don't get one. And Argerman's going to get called for a foul. And that was all ball. What I mentioned, Tony Simmons, I said, uh, one of the things when in his era, there was a lot of good ball players at that time. And all those guys were hitting the parks and hitting the teams were coming over from Columbus East and Springfield South and all around and out the swimming pool and up the park. And I mean, it would, if you wasn't pretty good, you didn't get on the floor three fourths of the day. And uh, it kept all those kids playing. And it makes a good ball player even that much better because he's out there got the competition going against him. I don't know if we have that kind of uh, competition now where the kids really get out there and get after it on their own. Twenty-seven, twenty-one now. Another thing, Carl, we've got so many sports now. We'll probably have, um, what's that one where they catch a ball in the basket and throw it? Something like that. Cricket? It might be. That'll probably be next. I ran into some girl over at the, in Columbus, me and my wife were shopping and she mentioned that she played either cricket or high line at the Hilliard School, Hilliard Derby. It's a uh, What was it? <laughs> I ain't gonna touch that, but I get in trouble. Ping pong. Into the three quarters, and a nine point difference, 30 to 21 in favor of Lakewood. Coach Rainey has got a different little thing he's got going for him here. He come in from the other end of the floor. He's got his red suit on, going through his stuff. Yeah. So we are at the uh, end of the third quarter. My sidekick showed up. And I'm always happy to say that um, People are really saying a lot of good things. I'm really happy about the way we've clicked this year. Um, it's a lot of things that you're able to say that you know the parents and the kids a little different than I do. You can get away with it where I couldn't get away with it. <laughs> we but clicked. it's stuff that needs to be me. said. <laughs> you waited on me. That's how I clicked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I appreciate it. I'm really happy to have you, man. Well, I want you to know I've learned a lot. It's been a pleasure. I really have. And believe it or not, I've learned a lot from you just listening. Because I know you know the game. Been around it for a long time, so I'm just happy we were able to do this together. Looking forward to next year. But I'm tired of this year. I am. <laughs> How you feeling? A lot of games. I'm feeling better. I had that uh, minor surgery Monday, and uh, it, the anesthetic hung on me for about three days. Well, we'll I'm feeling better. I tell you, we, I mentioned this a minute ago, 
but uh, the uh, we talked like we wanted Wilson Courthouse. We didn't want the Wilson Courthouse. <laughs> I got a chance to see a tape of their game, <coughs> and I'll tell you what, Pfeiffer is probably number one player in the state. Nick if, went there last night. He, he said he could have had 50. If he don't get picked for Mr. Basketball or one of the picks of the, something's wrong. Well, my son was there last night, Gary. He said, I just want to see if he's any good, Dad. He said, Lord. He's the real deal. He said he passed off. He could have had 50. Oh, yeah. He probably had 15 assists. And, and he said defeated. Doug Carpenter did everything he could to shut him off. He did everything. Yeah. He tried to zone him. He tried to man him. He double teamed him to no avail. The kid is he's just so smart in the game. And just like I told people before, and I'll probably admit, it's probably, from the time you're hearing this, it's probably been said during the varsity game. But he started out strictly defense, ninth grade, 10th grade. He wasn't concerned about his score. And then after he got the defense down pat, I mean, he could turn you wherever, whichever way he wanted and then pick the ball when you turn back the other way. He was sitting there waiting for you to come back with the ball. And uh, once he got that down pat, then he added his offense to it. And this kid is, he's another John Stockton, I'll tell you that. He doesn't take bad shots, Gary. He doesn't force anything. Mm -mm. Great shot selection. He never reminds you of a miniature Stockton. I don't think Stockton can score that well, though, or defend that well. He did when when he, 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 yeah, when he was young. You're right. Yeah, yeah. before he uh, yeah. hooked up with the big mailman. The mailman. He scored like that. I'm sick of Duke. Oh. I, uh, I don't know. it today on TV. Oh, Rick Pitino said Kansas would beat Duke for national championship. You know what? I might I'm make a few people upset, but I hope so. I don't like them. <laughs> they, they, like the Yankees. Were, it's like the Yankees in the 50s. Mm -hmm. They're too good. And I see where Jason Williams shot somebody. <laughs> but I guess it must have been the Jason Williams in the pros. The one that said Jason Williams shot him with a shotgun. Oh my. An accident, accidental shooting. But there is a Jason Williams in the pros too. But when they showed the mansion that he shot him at, his his mansion that he shot him at, right? Duke giving out that kind of money? I know what Jason Williams is talking about. That's the one who played for the Nets. Got yeah. 100 million, then got his leg hurt and couldn't play anymore. Laughed all the way to the bank. Probably, yeah. 33-24. Like you said earlier, during the last game we had, these teams have seen us enough. They just about know our dolphins, our weaknesses. And, Pluses and minuses. Now that was a terrible shot. There's that, Derek. Thirty-five, twenty-four. Well, Bill, I believe if we win tonight, we can have. Can we have an outright championship in the league? Sole possession, Gary. Yeah. Now it's Lakewood and uh, not Lakewood, but uh, Bexley and. Whitehall going at it tonight? Uh, I don't know who's going at it tonight. I know that it, according to Whitehall coach, it boiled down to a three-game season for them. Uh, London, Bexley, and uh, Whitehall. That's probably where they're at tonight then, Bexley. And I beat, didn't check. They beat Bexley the first time pretty bad. 30. 29. So, um, we're looking at a we're assured a tie for first place. And with the win, we can take it out right. That'll be a first for London for quite a while. Our opponent in the tournament game got beat last night. Oh, did he? They're 13 and 7 at this point in time. They won it. Against Columbus East? Uh, I don't know who beat him last night. Somebody up north. Delaware beat him last night, Gary. Not a basketball powerhouse, Delaware, not. Okay.
appreciate you bringing me all this information. Oh, You're going to have to read it because I can't see it. <laughs> it's over now. What I really liked was uh, the girls over here. Little Craner's sisters in one of the top scores in Central Ohio. Is that right? Yeah. Where's she shooting? See, where's she at? Right there, she hit 15-9 a game. That's pretty good over 20 that, games. But. Yeah. That is good. Well, she's a, she's a player, and I'm really happy and sad for her because she went out a champion last year and then had to come back. And, oh, she's a senior? Yeah. And had to run the show with all new players. And uh, it's an all new ball game. I didn't go over last night. Did you go over? No, I had that funny feeling that it was going to turn out like it did. I wasn't feeling good anyway. He didn't mean to do that, but slipped out of his hand. Hit, yeah, I hit the uh, Jerry right got a facial. <laughs> Oh, Hill's getting into this thing now, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He, he just sorry that he didn't get it moved up sooner because he probably played a lot more. Been good for him. But I am still baffled why Bobby Sanders doesn't play more. I am too. I just wonder what he does wrong or what, what, what is. I'd like to see because I'd like to help him. Uh, I talked to him out in the hall here a couple weeks ago. He said, as soon as this season's over, he's going on the weights and getting a jump rope. He's going to work. They're not going to deny him next year. That's a good That's attitude. That's a good attitude. Yeah. Good attitude. Good attitude. Good job, Terry. He turned his head. He wasn't going to get hit in the face that yeah. time. <laughs> Derek wasn't going to get another face. He made sure throw. if he's looking the other way, <laughs> that it was going to be kind of hard to call a foul on him. Oh, 3528, we've got three minutes to go in this reserve contest. London and Lakewood. Oh, <laughs> the power bump or two. I don't want to get you started. <laughs> time, it's Craner time. Time for him to get it going. The power bump's got 13. Craner has been having a slow night. I almost him. picked one there, buddy. Got him with three points. As a matter of fact, Marathon. everybody's having a slow night. What's the Marathon Hungerman? He even changed numbers on me. I still found him. Is he 20? Yeah. He's been 22. Yeah. <laughs> he called out in a hurry. He had time to get it off. They probably needed a timeout anyway. I got to get a hold of, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy that does it? Uh, interviews on, and logging on television. Everybody's on his case. It's a little short dude. Gray? Oh, Jim Gray. Jim Gray. I got to get Jim Gray to do the halftime. <laughs> He's in town tonight, so. Well, he's a I feisty little yes, son of a gun, ain't he? Yes, he is. I'm surprised somebody knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> him and Jim Rome, somebody gonna get him. And what's the name that does boxing? I think his name is Minute. Big three, and they're back in this game. Bobby Chez? No. Teddy Atlas? I'll give you just a second. 33 to 37. He's oh, usually yeah, on HBO. Oh, Jim Lampley. Come again. George Foreman. <laughs> He's an old guy. He got his nose up in there every time. Well, maybe he don't do it much anymore, but he did when uh, uh, the bullet was fighting. A little crazy man. Al Bernstein. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> We'll come up with a minute. No biggie. 37-33. I see some new faces in here tonight, Gary. 
Some that's new behind old, Marty. Some one new, of Dave's babies up behind Marty. New old faces. Yeah. Yeah, she's been here quite. She's too far off. Yeah, Gina's here a lot. She follows none of the sports. Thirty-seven, thirty-three, two fifteen left in this reserve contest. London Lakewood. Leading scores for London are Capalbo with 13 and Hungerman with 8. We're going to try to stop him from getting that 3. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. He didn't move, did he? You're allowed to sit up. And maybe he rolled over from the side angle. Maybe that's where they got him at. If you're flat on your back, you're allowed to sit straight up. Yeah. Well, at that age, you ought to be able to. Oh, you mean unless you get knocked down flat on your back? Still, but he's, he's coming finish at it, him. Derek. Finish it. Look at him. Look at him. Is it pimping? Talking, talking to the guy. Go give him a taunting call here. Uh -huh. It's a pity, yeah, the coach is right. The coach is talking to both of them. Shoot, go ahead on, Derek. Show them what you're made out of. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're going to use it. In your face. Uh oh That boy, Derek. One point game. He's fearless, Gary. 37, 30. You're right at him. He is, isn't he? You're going you're gonna to try him here. You're going to try and misuse this kid. Jim Gray up here. It's kind of gray in the background there. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> dark up in there. <laughs> I uh, got a little something for you about what we will probably need or what we'd like to do next year. It caught me off guard. I wouldn't even think about that and I had to stop and think. My well, wife said, well, why didn't you say what you need? I said, I didn't really know what to say. We're going to do but this. We do, do this need support. Hour, we do need support. Exactly. And just like this uh, track is coming up, I'd like to meet with any parents that have kids in different, like the um, field events, that may have a camera, a camcorder. And I'd like for you to film the field events. And then... Uh, can we'll you, can we'll you take it. it on TV yeah, I, I can uh, nice. take it and edit it onto uh, the main tape. Because there's no way we can get around all. Everything's going at the same time. He's and took over. Not this time. He shot that ball with the left hand. He got fouled. Yeah. He come with that right hand. He went down harder too. Mm -hmm. Gotta learn to finish left-handed, young fellow. I don't know. The block was behind him. He come across behind him. Had he come with the left hand, he could have been turned. You're probably right. That defender has to go across, clear across your body with his hand. Yeah, you're right. I learned that metal boy down in the front row. See? Marty Porter? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he was going to say June Russell. No, no. He got his hair slicked back. Yeah. He looking good. Mr. Clinton. They called a jump ball, so they both traveled. <laughs> there goes Jim Gray.
got the little league again at halftime. Trainer was on the money. Tyler Hill didn't roll. We turned their head, and London got a steal, and they're up one. 38-37. Ungerman hung in there. Got Picked him again. Got to pass to me. He'd get the... Oh, how about that tip in reserve? It's down to 30 seconds, one point Going down the last shot, Matthew. Trainer's got to get under control here. There you go. Ungerman's going to pull the trigger. Gets his own rebound. He'll go to the foul line. I like the way he chased his own shot, Gary. Went and got it. Hey, they're listening to you, Bill. The shooter usually knows where the ball's coming off. He knows he You're missed right. where he didn't miss to make it. We got a one-point game, so now they want to ice the shooter. Uh -huh. You can't ice Underman. He's cold-blooded. I can tell that by the way he threw up that three with 30 seconds to go. I'm sure, even though it turned out to our advantage, Coach probably wanted a little better shot than that. A three would have stopped him from beating us with a layup or a close shot inside the three. Carl don't know, but I hooked up a microphone to his headphone. <laughs> Over oh, time. Overtime, Carl. Hope you save some tape. But to get back to what I was saying before London so rudely interrupted me by going ahead. <laughs> a beautiful interruption, I might add. Uh, people have kids in the field events like a long jump. And uh, shot put, the uh, discus, pole vault, high jump, a lot of the pole vault. Well, sometimes we can get the pole vault, the races are going on during the time, but we can't actually get a good shot of it. Um, if you got a camera, you got somebody in it, or if you just want to do it, you don't have to have anybody in it. We don't have anybody doing it. Uh, come out and film it. and. Um, why don't you keep it pretty steady? <laughs> we can add it right on to the... Smitty. <laughs> He's pointing you out, ain't he? Well, Smitty's on me, buddy. We can edit it right on to the uh, main program. And we can really do it, providing I get an editing system like I talked about in varsity. Who's up one? They can still beat us with the. Uh, oh, they need the bucket. The bucket. And they got a timeout. 40-39 with 20 seconds to go. They think they'll go tight. inside with it, Gary? Think Lakewood will take it inside? With their height, I'm looking for them to. Me too. Their tall boys seem to be carrying the load. 44. We going to front them or play behind them? You think? Feel like who we got in? Who we got on the floor? This might be, a, I don't know, not being in the game that much. I was gonna say this might be a good spot for Sanders. Yeah. Then you can front him. Where's Van Horn at? Oh, was, uh, was Van Horn in the game? Probably play passing lane on him. Yeah. Deny. Don't forget, my man. Don't forget But it makes a lot of sense to go inside. Get it up early and see if you can get another one. They're going to make out a presentation. I don't know what it's for or who it's to, but I'm hoping that I'd love to see him go out in the middle of the floor and do it and then turn and come this way so we, we always get the tail end of them and 20 seconds, they filter the back court, so they're setting up something inside. Here they come. Yep. Watch the back door. Oh. Tyler plowed him on the 
the floor. We'll see what the call is. He's shooting. Oh, he's giving him a shot. He found him on the floor, Gary. Well, there's a trick to that, and I don't know where he did it, but there is a continuation in high school. As long as you're in the act, even though you're on the floor, you're coming up. We had a foul to give, too. We should have given sooner. Yeah. And not in a shooting situation. Well, it might have. Now, if we miss, we can pull this one off and get the rebound. That's Carl, we're going to go into overtime. I had to put the tall boys in. Get on the glass, Bobby. Six seconds to go. We got a tie ball game. We got 40 time. to 40. We got time. We got all night. This is our last game. <laughs> <laughs> 10. We got time. I may have, but if I did, I was wrong again. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> this thing picks up a whisper. It picks up. We're gonna put, uh, who we gonna put? Hungerman shooting it? We're gonna have Derek turn loose on him. Don't have to go with Hungerman, but I would not be a Well, as long as Derek's open. But you know they're gonna, they're gonna light Hungerman up. Yeah, if they know what they're doing, they will, Gary. They're going to double him, probably. Go we'll ahead get it down the floor first. We got to go to the length of the floor, too. Got a full 10 seconds. Got a boy, Brandon. Come on with it, son. Plenty of time. He's getting in, in trouble. I didn't think we'd get a shot. That's where he'll learn further on down the road. He just took himself right into trouble. You gotta keep that head up. They had enough time for him to back it out. Now he's like you said, keep your head up so you can see your other players. The way they were collapsing on him, somebody had to be open. So we're gonna go into overtime, Carly Poo. Oh yeah, good game. I'm telling. <laughs> I work with a guy, a little skinny guy, and every time somebody does something, I'm telling, I'm telling. <laughs> he can say it perfect too, like some of those kids do on the park. Oh, I'm telling. I'm telling mom. In my house, it's okay to tell dad, but don't tell mom. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We might get a full house tonight, Gary. Sounds like winter to me. We're due for one. It was really fun doing that Whitehall game with the full house. And when I saw it on television, it, it looked like a ball, big time ball game. Yeah. You're right, Carl. Let them be in Marysville. There you go. Good hustle, Tyler. See, we got, um, like you said, Tyler Hill in the game. Nice pass. Pablo for nice pass, Brandon. <laughs> And then takes the lead, 42-40. I saw the uh, Lakewood cheerleaders doing a cheer while go facing us, and they got LHS on their on their uh, uniforms. 
I said, wow, Lennon got some new uniforms. <laughs> I, kept, I kept trying to recognize the faces and none of them. Down rough, but he got it down here. Bottom line is a tickle to twine. I think Dale, I think Dale let Derek post up number 12. <laughs> Derek gets in a triple set yep. immediately. Immediately, like he's supposed to. Boy shows no fear. No, he cold blooded Hungerman is. Uh -huh. They're posting Derek up. Yep. So you might in the glass. Of course, that was a fast break there, so we wouldn't put that post up. Boy, Trainer, you got to get them knees back. 45 44. He should have shot that. He was thinking fast. He had a shot all the way. He's learning, though. That's what I thought they would do. When they come out trying yeah. to win the game. I did too, Gary. Get high on, on uh, Craner, you know, do something to, to shoot me down. Get up there. Well, they want to try. I want him here in a minute. They're really they pushing him out on the floor here. Somebody got to go to the rim of one. <laughs> Tyler Hill. Hill. His daddy down there filming too. They don't want to see what we put on him. <laughs> Is up a three now. 47 44. We got. Well, Catalbo's controlled that glass here lately, Gary, you know. He's done all the rebounds. He's doing a good job. 28 seconds. Lennon's up a three. If we can knock in at least one of these, it'll be a two possession game. Wilson and Wilson done a fine job tonight. Brought him down from a nine point deficit, buddy. Won this thing in overtime. Well, I kind of seen this coming because you get a shot of uh, Coach Tom Wilson. He got on a new. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what do you call them thing? A half a blazer. No fleece. Fleece. Yeah, Carl said with the fleece. Yeah. Yeah, you the man, Tom. GQ Wilson. <laughs> all day, all night, Mary. <laughs> 47, 44. London has the advantage. We need to add to it on this foul shot. Or they can put us in another overtime. Oh, Cross he wants this over. He don't know what I'm talking about. We got all night. He maybe I got all night. He said, you ain't. He gone home. Paulbo on the line. No strong, no strong. No arch. Wilson pulls everybody off. Now do they know what to do if they get the ball and come at them 90 miles an hour? No foul. No foul, gentlemen. He lost his mind being caught carrying the ball when he went behind his back. <laughs> nice shot. Still a one point game. Real nice shot. 46 47. London up with one with 17 seconds. Go ahead. Let me see your uh, program. Let me see how old a couple of these boys are playing for Lakers. <laughs> uh, we don't 
don't have Lakewood, do you? Never do. There's one, I see two seat. Uh, Just what I thought. Two juniors. Yeah. Number 10, number 42. 42's not out there. That was Bobby Galoni. And 10's line. not out there. Yeah, that was Galoni. 5'10", sophomore. And they probably got most of the points. Uh, 44's got 13, then it drops down to 7 and 4 and 5. Come on, man. Just hang on to it till they foul you. They found the wrong man there, Gary. Hungry man. Hungry man. Mm -hmm. How you handle a hungry man? The man handler. You know I can sing, did you? That's huh? awesome. No, <laughs> I've heard you sing before. No, you heard my brother. You heard me, you heard me moan. <laughs> Sound like I was dying. <coughs> hungry man. Count it. As many as they want. We call that one. <laughs> Boy's got ice in his veins. John setting up a defense. Oh, we need this to eliminate a three-point shot. Beating this. Fourteen seconds left. Mine was up by two. Forty-six, forty-eight. Trying to sing it like Chuck myself. Mm. Shaq Stidham told me to tell you. I was up there and he was, he was on your case. Forget, because I know it wasn't good. Oh, it was good. It really was. Oh, he called you Dick Bartel. What? He said, tell Dick Bartel. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Dick Shaq. Dick Bartel and Mark Lee. Hey, Ison. They can beat us on a three, and they're going. They're evidently they're going to try one. Are they going to get a shot off? Yep. The hunger was good job, son. And then it comes out with a win. 46-48. We'll just stay right where we're at, Carl. 